some time means uh, that's uh, any specific duration sir is it like 2 uh, minutes 10 minutes 10 minutes, minutes. Uh, that is the moderate timing yes okay so, so after the excess oil comes out you can use a cotton ear bud and okay. uh, remove the excess oil present in the ear okay so that's all you can just clean with the cotton ear bud and whatever excess oil is there it will come out and a little oil will stay inside the ear it is okay so there will not be any problems sir for that absolutely no problem as long as you heat the oil before you put it into your ear okay fine fine sir thank you and one more question is sir uh, about uh, acidity uh -huh. uh, that is the uh, what i am experiencing almost weekly once twice okay uh, there are many that? reasons for uh, this acidity yeah if the food while getting digested uh, if it is producing some kind of gases and excess acid production is happening because of improper digestion then these excess acids sometimes they regurgitate they come out upwards and they yeah, and uh, vomiting vomiting sensation yes, and uh, sometimes it comes okay. out uh, by mouth yes yes so this can happen if the digestive power is weak another reason is if there is some kind of constipation not having free bowel movement and if you are not eating in time you know there is a specific time where the proper digestive juices secretion will happen and the if it is appropriate sir as far as my food timing is concerned before it i will have slight tiffin and uh -huh. uh, afternoon it will be between 12 to 1 uh -huh. and evening it will be before 9 before okay. 9 almost it will be 8 to 8 30 or so like yes. that sir so that is okay um still if it is there acidity Sometimes even because of some kind of uh, food items which are uh, vidahi in nature, like they are internally uh, hot in nature, um, you know, sometimes due to excessive uh, addition of uh, spices or excessive frying, reheating, excessive preservatives, all these can, things can cause uh, acidity. So Those are food, absolutely nil as far as my food habits are concerned, sir. Huh. Uh, whatever you have told sir just now those are mm -hmm. all almost nil yeah then it and can be vegetarian there is nothing like any non vegetarian also yes even if it is vegetarian food if it is not freshly prepared if it is reheated if it is stored in refrigerators if there are a lot of pickles then also acidity can happen so my suggestion to you is uh, drink hot water regularly at least four to five glasses a day early morning i used to take uh, one to two glass or minimum the moderate hot not yes. uh, moderate hot early morning that is uh, by uh, before six before yes six. Yeah, that is good and after that also whenever you can drink drink hot water apart from that Apart from that, um, try to take ghee in your food. Um, cow's ghee is preferable. Otherwise, buffalo's ghee is also okay. Add a little ghee in your uh, whatever food you are eating. That also will help in reducing acidity. Another... Uh, I use, sir, usually buffalo ghee, I think so. Because okay. you know, cow ghee is not available, buffalo ghee, that to be home prepared. Oh, home prepared is actually the best one. Yeah, yes, sir. That home prepared, we preferably use it evening and uh, morning also. That is the best thing to do. And uh, during the night time, try to minimize the food uh, quantity. Quantity of the food. Quantity of the food. Afternoon, it can be full, full fledged food, uh, no, food with everything in it. And okay, okay. one simple thing I will tell you, there is this um, a powder called Harad, Harad or uh, Haritaki. 
in sanskrit in hindi it is harad okay uh, is, uh, its name is terminalia chebula so this powder you will get anywhere even the fruit also you will get in uh, on the market uh, yeah, even tablets are also available i think so sir hey tiki tablets are also available tiki tablets are also available um preferably you take powder along with good jaggery uh, at what time sir this will be uh, you can have it before food um, uh, only once uh, or uh, at a twice a, day, uh, twice a day you can have it oh, half good, spoon good, of uh, jaggery and half spoon of uh, haridake powder you mix it and have it along with hot water okay. that will help in uh, reducing acidity so if all these things are not working okay there are some simple very simple medicines which will help in reducing the acidity but uh, before that you try this uh, this haritaki it's available everywhere in any patanjali store you will see that the haritaki powder is uh, available it's just some 20 30 rupees per 100 grams so okay sir you can just have it with jaggery that will help in uh, reducing the acidity good sir i will use it sir no problem okay okay thank you sir thank you very much for your valuable guidance welcome sir kanji thank thank you, thank you. shailaja ji you want to ask something you can un- unmute your mic and uh, ask namaste bhaiya namaste shailaja ji so i am uh, having a pain like uh, spondylitis near neck okay so sometimes it uh, it takes pain towards uh, right hand sometimes mm-hmm. towards head mm-hmm. like i just wanted to know how to overcome this without like uh, heavy medicine like yeah. in home only i how to it is not uh, too much now Huh? i just want to take care now itself okay so how to overcome this so um like uh, did you get any x ray no it's not uh, like uh, uh, i can't tolerate to- it is not uh, i can't tolerate this pain uh-huh. now i can tolerate as i am tolerating but i just wanted to know it should not increase okay yes um generally there will be like now i am we- wearing that uh, uh, belt cons collar belt around your neck hmm. and that is giving near <laughs> garam it is something irritating me <laughs> not comfortable aha uh-huh. okay i can't wear uh, for whole day just i am wearing for one hour in the evening okay so uh now that you have raised this question mm-hmm. i will try to um just discuss about this spinal problem i'll just show you few slides it will be helpful for other people also so uh i'll give you some idea why this thing is happening see this backbone uh, you can see the slide right Uh, yeah i can see yes sir so this backbone is not a single bone so there are around uh, 33 separate separate bones called vertebrae and uh, <laughs> backbone is vertical only in human beings all other animals it is horizontal so the weight is uniformly distributed all over the body but in human beings weight gets concentrated in the rec- neck region lower back region because of the vertical posture and as i have told you these are separate separate bones around uh, 33 bones each bone is separate and every bone is having a hole in it on the left left hand the top corner uh, the bone uh, cross section is there there is a hole in it through the hole spinal cord spinal cord travels through these holes all the holes come together to make a spinal canal 
through which the spinal cord this blue color thing which is there going through the bones its spinal cord it is going through the vertebrae and at every joint a pair of nerves are coming out see the blue color nerves are coming out so totally 31 pairs of nerves are coming out of the spinal cord and the spinal cord is protected by this you know backbone it, which is actually a chain of small 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 bones called vertebrae these nerves they innervate all parts of the body and take information from different parts of the body to the brain and again information from brain to different parts of the body and if you can see there is a disc in between two bones between these two bones there is a disc on the top of the bone also you can see the disc in purple color so it is called intervertebral disc it is also part of the skeleton but it is not bone it is called cartilage and this cartilage is between every two bones where there is a movement there will be cartilage to you know act like a shock absorber and have also give lubrication between two bones this cartilage is there this is also called intervertebral disc and 80% of this disc is filled with fluid some liquid is there inside the disc and because of this liquid this cartilage is like a shock absorber it acts like a spring in between two bones whenever you stand or sit for longer durations or travel on a jerky road or bend forward or lift some weight two vertebrae tend to hit each other and the disc in between acts as a shock absorber and two bones come together the disc recoils and pushes the bones back to their own position this is what this cartilage does but unfortunately this spring action gets reduced the shock absorbing action gets reduced when the liquid inside this disc gets reduced due to some degenerative changes in the skeletal system so when the liquid gets reduced the spring action gets reduced whenever these two bones come together there will be some kind of um, what we call uh, compression uh, and just mute it to people so that there will be no um, you can just unmute again so this compression the this gets compressed between two bones whenever there is some kind of pressure and the disc will not be able to recoil because of lack of sufficient liquid inside it that is because of the degeneration so you know see you can see the picture if there are two bread slices and if you put some jam in between and press the jam comes out similarly when two bones press the disc the disc because of degeneration it tends to come out of its place and sometimes when it comes out it touches the spinal cord and compresses the spinal cord and causes pain there so um if you can see there are two bones and in between this blue color disc is there when there is compression this disc comes out of its place and it compresses the yellow color spinal cord it touches and compresses the yellow color spinal cord and it causes severe degeneration uh, it caused by degeneration it causes severe pain in that particular region so here you can see the actual photograph of the vertebrae two bones are there two vertebrae and between there is this disc and on the right side the vertical white color thing is the spinal cord and on the left side between the two bones the disc is coming out of its place and it is touching the spinal cord and it is compressing the spinal cord and there the person can feel pain so this is an mri on the right side top you can see the brain which is extending below in the form of spinal cord and you can see different different vertebrae and the black color discs the blue color arrow is showing one disc which is protruding out and compressing the spinal cord so it is happening in the neck similarly on the left side 
it is the lower back region the last disc which is black in color it came out of its place and it is compressing the white color spinal cord vertical white color spinal cord is getting compressed by the horizontal black color disc in the lower side other discs are white in color and they are in their own place but the last disc is black in color which indicates degeneration and it is coming out of its place and compressing the spinal cord so this compression causes severe pain in that particular region i have told you that 31 pairs of nerves come out of the spinal cord and these yellow color nerves if you can see from the neck region they are coming and innervating the whole hand and then uh, just a moment rajkumar nen session lo unnano madam call cheva kavita rajkumar enku call chestunna so the yellow color nerves they are coming out of the neck and they are even innervating the head region in different parts of the abdomen and thorax and in the lower back region they are coming out and innervating the whole leg whole leg the yellow color nerves are going even till the toes and on the right side if you see the picture the spinal cord is there and a bundle of fibers like things is there spinal cord and two nerves are coming out and this blue color disc because of the compression it is coming out and compressing the nerve which is coming out of the spinal cord and when this nerve gets compressed wherever this nerve goes there you will feel pain if it is in the lower back region the nerve is getting compressed the whole leg can have pain or uh, tingling sensation or pulling pain sometimes burning sensation the whole leg similarly if it is in the neck region the nerve is getting compressed the whole hand can get pain or pulling uh, radiating pain or numbness or burning sensation sometimes the nerve which is coming out of the neck goes to the head and that gets compressed and person can feel headache giddiness sometimes vomiting sensation also so depending upon which nerve is getting compressed the whole route the nerve is traveling will get affected though the problem is there in the disc because of the compression of this nerve by this disc which is coming out of its place the whole region might get affected so you can see this is a normal disc and this is a degenerate the second disc is a degenerated disc means the liquid inside it is getting reduced and after this degeneration because of the pressure the disc is bulging out and even the liquid is coming out and it is called herniation and the space between two bones is getting reduced so you can see the thinning of the disc and then even the bones of the vertebra are also getting degenerated osteophyte formation is seen so all these things are happening because of degeneration and initial stages doctors will ask us to wear some belt or collar so that uh, the spinal cord will stay straight and it will not get compressed the disc will not get compressed because of the curvature in the lower back or in the neck region then uh, they they might ask us to take bed rest um and some exercises physiotherapy and some pain killers all these things will give some relief but they will not be able to stop the degenerative changes and this can go on happening this degeneration will go on happening at one stage doctor will suggest to go for surgery so in the surgery whichever disc is completely coming out of its place will be removed will be removed and both the bones after removing the disc will be joined together with some plates and screws so then the both bones will become one single bone because of this fixation the problem with fixing this two bones into one single bone is there will be no movement so moving moving your head or neck horizontally or vertically forward bending or backward bending will be difficult if those bones get fused because of this surgery 
but still many people undergo this surgery because they want to get rid of that pain the problem with this surgery is it is a complicated surgery and uh, while you cut the disc accidentally if the nerve gets injured then there can be complete paralysis of limbs or sometimes even there will be risk of life also um, during the surgery of course there are some really experienced surgeons who can do this surgery without any complications and with our luck if if you can get the surgery done without any complications even then only that particular disc which got removed will not cause any compression and why that particular disc is causing compression previously because the whole weight is being taken by that particular disc if you remove this disc so there is no longer any weight on that particular part so the weight will be taken by another disc which might again come out of its place and again compress the spinal cord and cause pain and there are so many discs like this not only the discs in the backbone if you see between every two bones whether it is a shoulder joint or elbow joint or wrist joint or knee joint or ankle joint or hips anywhere where there is movement between two bones you will find this cartilage and once this degeneration degeneration starts it can happen anywhere not just like it will happen only in the back region or neck region it can happen between any two bones but because the neck is more vulnerable lower back is more vulnerable um people who sit before the computer for long duration generally their neck gets affected people who stand a lot or bend a lot their lower back gets affected but that doesn't mean the degeneration is happening only in that that place it can happen in any place and slowly other places also they might show another symptom another symptom like that so what i'm trying to tell you is it is not a intelligent solution to remove this cartilage wherever there is degeneration so wherever there is degeneration you will go on removing you will be removing the whole cartilage in the entire body so there must be a solution which is not so radical more holistic so now i'll try to explain how we can solve this problem without actually using any pain killers without using this collars or lumbar belts because using this collar or belt regularly can also cause long term problem because normally the muscles around our neck around our lower back they are supposed to hold the spinal cord straight when they become weak sometimes the, we will not be able to keep our spinal cord straight and because it is not straight sometimes it causes compression on the intervertebral disc so to keep it straight we use the spinal uh, spinal lumbar belt or the cervical collar when you start using the cervical collar or lumbar belt it is supporting the spinal uh, backbone so our muscles will further become weak because they are not doing any other work so slowly all the muscle musculature will become much much weaker and you will not be able to um, stay without this collar or the lower lumbar belt instead of that we need to strengthen those muscles which are supporting our spinal cord which will be a better solution than to use a collar or a lumbar belt so let us understand why this particular thing is happening so that we will be able to understand how to solve this problem see whatever food we are eating it contains so many nutrients and these nutrients they nourish each and every organ of our body each and every part of our body all these nutrients will be distributed according to the requirement among all the different different organs and organ systems of the body and to happen and for this to happen lots and lots of chemical reactions called metabolic reactions happen inside our body and sometimes these chemical reactions get disturbed due to some free radicals which get accumulated inside our body free radicals are toxins and uh, they are called endotoxins because they are getting manufactured inside our body our body itself is making them and they are toxins and they are disturbing our chemical reactions and they are not allowing the food to reach certain parts of the body 
now you can ask why these free radicals are getting produced inside our own body there are so many reasons for the production of these free radicals so if you are not eating in time not sleeping in time not getting up in time not doing physical activity not exposing your body to sunlight exposing your body to pollution eating unhealthy food taking lots and lots of unnecessary medicines and and food is containing lots and lots of pesticides and fertilizers or um, and so many other reasons like pollution and all all these reasons can cause the accumulation of free radicals and when these free radicals get accumulated inside our body they will not allow these nutrients to reach certain places like skeletal system and when the nourishment is not reaching skeletal system there will be degeneration in the skeletal system you know skeletal system a skeleton is not like a iron frame fixed in time and space continuously our bones and cartilage need nourishment and when they don't get nourishment they tend to get degenerated so generally we get patients with severe back pain severe neck pain and in those conditions we do some cellular detoxification to get rid of these free radicals from each and every cell of our body so this is for people with severe degenerative changes in their spinal cord in their backbone in their other parts of the skeletal system so we do therapies called vamana and virajana which will help in getting rid of these toxins from each and every cell of the body and this will help in stopping the degenerative changes as long as these free radicals are there inside our body they cause degeneration so to stop this degeneration we remove these toxins from each and every cell of our body and of course we do some special external therapies to reduce this pain to increase the circulation to strengthen the joints strengthen the muscles so all these things will help in reducing the pain and uh, you know strengthening the body but there are some special therapies called um vasti karma which will help in regenerating the cartilage and regenerating the liquid inside the cartilage so that is an internal therapy unlike these external therapies which are you are looking at that is an internal therapy which will help in regenerating the cells regenerating the liquid inside the cartilage that will also help in taking the disc back into its own position and you might ask me so because we all think that if the degeneration sets inside the body it is not possible to regenerate the bone regenerate the cartilage this is what we all think unfortunately it is not true. fortunately it is not true because regeneration is possible but collectively we all got tuned our mind got tuned the degeneration once it sets in there is no way only way is to get a surgery done replace these joints with some artificial joints this is what uh, we are reading in various books or doctors are telling us that regeneration is not possible you know in kerala when they train the elephant when the elephant is a small baby they tie that elephant with a small rope and uh, elephant because it is a baby it is not able to free itself with that rope and they train it regularly with that rope now the elephant becomes a huge elephant grows and it is so strong that even if you chain it to a huge tree with iron chains it can just uproot the tree and free itself from the iron chains but when you tie it with the same old childhood rope in its mind it got fixed it got tuned that i will not be able to free myself if someone ties me with this particular rope in its mind it got fixed so it thinks that it will not be able to free itself similarly we also got tuned continuously that degeneration once it sets in regeneration is not possible this is what we all think but fortunately regeneration is possible 
because continuously old cells are dying and new cells are getting produced body is like a flowing river it is not like a fixed idol you know like a statue fixed in time and space no body is like a flowing river each and every cell of our body takes birth performs its functions and then it dies and another cell gets produced continuously skin cells they live only for 30 days so old cells they die and new cells they get produced similarly blood cells we know um four months rbc wbc they live approximately for four months so when we uh, donate blood we body produces new blood even the liver cells they get produced they get regenerated in 45 days old cells they live for 45 days and they die and new cells they get produced now when a person donates a liver um partial uh, a part of liver will be transferred to other person both the people grow their liver to their original size because of the regeneration even the skeletal cells we think that as i told you um, the bone is not like a fixed uh, iron frame bone cells skeletal cells they live only for 90 days so old cells they die and new cells they get produced so this regeneration happens but unfortunately we are not able to see that regeneration you know if you take an x ray today of your lower back or your knee joint it is degenerated after one year if you see it, take another x ray it will be more degenerated with my logic within 90 days you should be able to see new cells getting regenerated but for the new cells to get produced you need raw material you need food body will manufacture new cells only if it is getting proper nourishment but the nourishment is not reaching those places because of this free radical accumulation and you remove these free radicals and when you start the regenerative therapy body will be able to produce new bone cells new cartilage cells and it can regenerate regenerate each and every part of the body it is possible nowadays all over the world billions of dollars trillions of dollars are being spent on regenerative therapy because now scientists believe that regeneration is possible fortunately ayurveda speaks a lot about regeneration 5000 years so so this regeneration is possible with some special treatments you know we do some special vasti is called erand muladi vasti which is wonderful in regenerating this cartilage pitta kakshira vasti specifically in knee joint problems aitarna vasti yohatya diyapana vasti and we do some special therapies called nasya means specifically in cervical region pain we do this special treatment called nasya karma where we put some medicine in the nose which will strengthen the nerve system and of course there is another great therapy called vahini karma again india's gift to the world 5000 year old therapy called vahini karma which will fix the discs in their own position and will not allow the discs to come out of this place they allow the discs to bulge or protrude out of its place it is a wonderful therapy called vahini karma which we perform at our hospital so these all these therapies which i am telling you it is only for people with severe degenerative changes people who come on stretchers who people who are unable to sit for even 1 minute 2 minutes so bedridden people for those people we do this therapies along with these therapies we will also do we will also tell them what to eat what not to eat when to eat when to sleep when to get up all these lifestyle changes and along with those lifestyle changes we will also tell them to practice pranayam meditation spinal exercises and some yogic asanas which will all help in strengthening the spinal cord so a combination of these therapies lifestyle changes and exercises and pranayam will solve the problem we can say 100% regeneration is possible if we do this thing in a holistic way so this is all about uh, the treatment for severe uh, conditions but as madam has asked about what we can do at home we need to give proper nourishment to the body so we need to choose we need to choose different different grains and pulses and vegetables and fruits which are growing in our own place locally growing um food items preferably pesticide free and fertilizer free food items if you can get choose a wide range of Um, grains like all different kinds of millets, 
different kinds of pulses different kinds of vegetables of course dry fruits soak these dry fruits and you can take uh, badam and uh, akrot anjeer all these things uh, anjeer is very good for uh, uh, anjeer and akrot and badam are very good for skeletal system you can have them you can have milk you can have ghee butter butter milk and always eat freshly cooked food any food which is reheated preserved can cause degenerative changes so different kinds of millets and also um sesame seeds are very good in strengthening our skeletal system and curry leaves kadi ka patta or what uh, they say curry leaves in telugu we call karve paku is very good in strengthening the bones exposing our body to sunlight itself will give a lot of vitamin d and strengthen our bones all these things are uh, good to nourish our bones and skeletal system and we need to avoid fried food spicy food oily food reheated items pickles of course potatoes they cause a lot of pain pumpkin they cause a lot of pain jackfruit and banana also cause pain solid curd is not good well churned buttermilk is good tomato can cause pain non vegetarian food can cause degenerative changes inside the body particularly when our digestive system is weak cold drinks chilled items processed foods preserved foods like jams sauces canned food tin food all these things can cause degenerative changes inside our skeletal system not only skeletal system in many other organs degeneration can happen if you are eating unhealthy food so avoid all these food items and eat freshly cooked food freshly cooked food don't eat food cooked in the morning in the night time or today's cooked food tomorrow not like that not reheat the food don't refrigerate the cooked food that all these things can cause degeneration so what are the lifestyle changes we can follow to promote regeneration early sleeping between 10 to 2 lots and lots of useful changes happen a lot of repair work happens inside the body between 10 to 2 if sufficient melatonin gets produced and we sleep properly lots of regenerative changes happen rejuvenation revitalization happens between 10 to 2 in the night that is a time when your body heals itself so sleeping by 10 pm and getting up before sunrise having breakfast before 8 am lunch before 1 pm dinner before 7:30 pm all these things will help in regeneration of the body specifically skeletal system avoiding pollution practicing spinal exercises to strengthen the backbone and spinal cord regular pranayama pranayama is having this wonderful capacity to regenerate each and every cell of the body pranayama works on the dna at the level of the genes this effect of pranayama can be seen so to regenerate your cartilage to regenerate your bones pranayama and meditation is very effective of course prioritizing our lives reducing our stress and tension giving maximum importance to our health and our relationships and reducing unnecessary worries and avoiding foods grown using pesticides and fertilizers of course one thing which i always believe is when you help help others when you take social responsibility when you try to make a difference automatically you will get help from different directions and you will be able to heal your body heal your mind and strengthen your health reach attain perfect health there are some wrong ways to stand whenever you stand in these wrong positions when your back is not aligned properly there is a risk of compression in the cartilage which in turn aggravates the pain in the neck or back region so very important for us to stand properly sit properly continuous usage of cell phone in the wrong position bending forward will cause severe pain in the neck region and the severe compression of the nerves coming out of the neck region can happen because of this wrong posture see while you sit before the system also if you are bending forward the angle between your 
trunk and your thighs should be 90 or more than 90 you should not bend forward angle between your thigh and your uh, leg at the knee joint the angle should be 90 or more than 90 you can keep your legs on the foot rest or you can keep it on the floor but don't keep it inside your chair it should not be less than 90 similarly at the angle at the wrist joint should be 180 degrees and the monitor should exactly be at your eye level you should not bend your neck to see the monitor at, you know if it is a laptop keep something under the laptop so that the screen will be at your eye level and if you have some problem in the neck or the lower back region don't try to lift weights while bending forward if you want to pick up something bend your knees sit down pick it up and get up don't bend forward bending forward can cause severe compression in the disc so th- these are all the wrong positions which can cause a lot of problem in the neck region or lower back region so using your mobile while sleeping or re- reading while sleeping you know and when you are lying down you should support your neck keep a towel folded towel just behind your neck while you are lying straight if you are lying on one side support it with a pillow so all these things will help in giving proper strength to the neck and lower back region there are some simple asanas like bhujangasana shalabhasana dhanurasana marjalasana ashtasana all these asanas are backward bending asanas which will strengthen the spinal cord there are some back exercises which will uh, help in strengthening your spinal cord so this is bhujangasana like you are sleeping on your tummy and you are lifting your um body above your lower back and you are trying to look at the ceiling with supporting with your hands so you are bending your back backwards and that will strengthen the back this is uh, ardha salabhasana you are lifting your leg without bending at the knee region you can lift both the legs also so this will help in again strengthening your lower back so you can bend uh, you can lift one leg and opposite hand like this and put them down and lift another leg and opposite hand this also will help in uh, strengthening your lower back region so this is another uh, asana where you are lifting both your legs and your body above your navel so all these asanas are backward bending asanas so this is dhanurasana again you are bending your back backwards there are some neck exercises so bending your neck forward and backward left sideways you can bend and you can touch your ear with your shoulder like this bending on the lateral side and uh, you can take your neck forward and backwards in like the first picture and you can lift your shoulders upwards and downwards and uh, you can make a total neck rotation completely all these things will strengthen the neck region neck muscles all these are active uh, exercises now what you are looking at is uh, some set of static exercises where you are not moving your neck sometimes people have severe neck pain so there will be difficulty in moving their neck so then you can do this neck exercises where you are pressing your uh, head from sideways with your hand so you are putting pressure on your head in turn you are reversing it with your you are putting your pressure on your hand with your head so there is pressure but there is no movement so like that on both sides you can do similarly you can put both your hands on your forehead and try to push backwards while you are supporting your neck without uh, bending backwards similarly you can push it from back side and uh, support your neck So, uh, these are called static exercises where you are not moving your neck but you are putting pressure on the neck that will strengthen the neck muscles of course these are some lower back exercises waist rotation 
hip rotation spinal stretch on both sides stretch forward and backwards keep your hands um, straight and rotate them torso twist so these are some of the strengthening exercises and of course um, there is some other severe problem called ankylosing spondylitis where the bones two bones two vertebrae fuse with each other and the whole bone becomes like a one single bone called bamboo bone bone bamboo spine so this can happen in any joint either in the backbone or hip or you know neck or lower back region and uh, this can cause severe problem unlike the this problem it is much more severe so you can see the fusion of these bones because of the dure, de degeneration so so this ankylosing spondylitis also can be corrected and the fused bones can be again separated with these uh, therapies which i have told you ankylosing spondylitis is diagnosed with this special test called hlib27 people with uh, uh, hlib27 positive will have severe ankylosing spondylitis and this is an autoimmune disease where our own body cells which are like our army to protect our body they the bright blood cells they attack our own skeletal system that causes this uh, ankylosing spondylitis and there are more than 100 types of autoimmune disorders wherever these uh, wbc attack our body there there can be another disease like rheumatoid arthritis in the joints skin when the skin gets attacked there will be psoriasis vitiligo eczema scleroderma and the gastrointestinal tract gets attacked celiac disease crohn's disease ulcerative colitis type 1 diabetes the brain gets attacked multiple sclerosis billion barre syndrome autism so many diseases 100 plus diseases can happen because of autoimmunity so generally in conventional uh, therapy they will give steroids to suppress the autoimmunity but that is very harmful in the long run so so real cause is again bad lifestyle stress so we need to correct the ahara we need to correct the vihara we need to correct the food we need to correct our lifestyle we need to treat our body we need to treat our mind to correct this thing we do some immunomodulatory therapies where we do panchakarma therapies which i have explained previously panchagavya chikitsa rasayana therapies and there are so many herbs to modify the immune system and uh, correct this immune cells which are misguided and attacking our own body so yeah i think the time is up so i hope uh, i have uh, given you proper knowledge about uh, various things which we can do to strengthen our back uh, spinal cord so if we have any questions madam um, shailaja ji i hope i yes sir yeah you have answered all my queries which are even raising while uh, uh seeing through all the slides yes. so thank you i'll uh, i'll try to like i assure myself to follow all the uh, methods what you told even uh, the if i go through regenerated therapy like that yes. will help me i think it uh, help you a lot actually anyone like, can undergo these regenerative therapies uh, like the course will, will be of uh, like uh, whether it is one week course no 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 this is a lengthy therapy mm -hmm. around 45 days so okay. you can have to you should find a doctor mm -hmm. who is nearby your like place. i need to get a time like as i'm working i need to get that time no if you find mm -hmm. a doctor who is nearby you can okay. do while you are working many people they come to us while they are going to their office they every day they come in the morning get the therapy done and then go back to their office so okay that is possible huh so i, I felt it like the, this is a one week uh, entire stay we have to be there like that i felt it one week will not be so, enough to complete all these therapies okay so in ayurvedic uh, like uh, institutes or uh, uh, i'll be getting these kinds of uh, therapies yes 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 mm -hmm. i with the panchakarma hospitals will do these therapies okay thank you thank you bhaiya shashikanth ji wrote in the chat 
how about sleeping on mat instead of bed does it help in better blood circulation ha people with spinal problems they have to see that their bed is hard enough so that when you sleep on the bed it will not go below and it will not cause unnecessary curvature in your foam mattress is bad with for people with spinal problems even for normal people also foam mattress or spring mattress is bad even cotton mattress is not good because of the uneven surface coir mattress is the best mattress because it is firm there will be around 4 to 5 inches of coir and only half inch of little foam that will enough to support the spinal cord but people with severe back pain we ask them to sleep on uh, a wooden uh, surface they'll keep on simple uh, uh, mat like thing which is um, half inch thick and uh, then sleep on it till the uh, back gets adjusted so that is what we recommend and how about breathing exercises to overcome body pains yes as i have already told you pranayam is the best way to regenerate each and every cell of the body it will help in reducing the pains also it will help in relaxing the muscles it will help in activating the nerves no. breathing exercises will help in so many ways so many ways yes. any other question i can answer before we leave yes bhaiya namaste i am here hello bhaiya namaste namaste how are you bhaiya i am fine how are you fine thank you bhaiya by god's grace everything is okay i wanted to have a query that ki okay. just now i have seen that uh, uh, taking towel under the neck those who are yes. having any problem yes. Yes. but bhaiya i don't have any problem and no. neither i take pillow nor i take that towel hmm. so is it okay Um, yeah, it is okay. It is okay if you, ha- you don't have any problem, and if you are not using pillow, it is best actually. I am not using pillow or towel. What I said, yes. uh, better to confirm. Yes, yes, it is better. It is good. Yeah, actually. this, uh, this postures what I am seeing here, na. Yes. Is this is right, na? With pillow, this thing. Well, I am not using anything. No problem. Here it is showing a lying uh, cross. Is that first figure? First. Yes. So that is showing cross. So I said whether. <laughs> no, that is with the. That, that that if you are having severe problem in the neck region, hmm. so if you are not supporting it, then it might cause some problem. So just okay. to support the neck, there is a small curvature. The head G-G. and the back will touch the hmm. bed, but there is the neck is just li- lying on the air. So then we will give a s- simple support with the uh, this thing. But uh, if your neck is strong, you need not have that also. Yes, brother. Yeah, by God's grace, no problem is there. Yes. And, uh, I'm following the circadian uh, rhythm. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you for answering my query. Yes, yes. Bhaiya, uh, uneven bed is not uh, good for sleeping. Definitely not good. Uneven cotton mattress is bad. Even bed. Usually, yeah, yeah. nowadays uh, people choose uh, soft bed, which <laughs> goes down. It should not go down. It should be firm. Okay, so hard bed. Hard bed is good. Good, good for health. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Chandra Shekhar ji is asking. My mom is sugar patient, and from tongue to foot there is sensation of pain. Sometimes because of the sugar, also there will be neuralgia. Nerves, nerve endings get degenerated, and that can cause that kind of sensation of pain. So it is better uh, to start. doing certain lifestyle changes so that the regeneration happens simple application of oil every day to the body will increase the circulation and re- reduce the sensation of pain uh, proper uh, physical activity walking or some sim- some simple asanas also will help in pain so i strongly recommend application of oil for people with uh, severe neuralgia we re- recommend some medicated oils like um, um supti thailam balashwagandha thailam but for normal simple discomfort simple sesame oil application to the body is also very effective that itself will reduce the sensation of pain particularly with people um, particularly in people with sugar problem 
so yes so it's 831 already gupta ji ah uh, thank you doctor it is a very nice presentation you need to take good amount of time for us to digest fully and yes. implement them most yes. of us do small small mistakes here and there but yes. i think uh, we we now we get to know what is the best actually and yes. correct ourselves so that we live along with the health health good health yes sir yes sir so i think we can stop the session now is parikshit bhai is there ji bhai namaste namaste so, as as we can see a lots and lots of questions were there and yes. it was very 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 interactive session and it is always useful for all of us there and you explain it so beautifully that it feel like that we can do it yes. otherwise if we we'll approach to a doctor they give us allopathic medicines and we always feel maybe for a while it will affect and gradually it will come again yes. but the way it's like uh, you motivate us and i believe that is a first step to heal up yes if you mentally fit then it will help you to heal up fast yes. so thank you bhaiya for being there i believe uh, everybody agree with this that after listening yes, to you yes really surely <laughs> Yes, this is surely we are moving from confusion to clarity. Yes. Yes, Didi, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, Baya. Thank you, Sundar Baya. Thank you, Baya. Yes, yes, Sundar Baya. We are really highly, highly obliged wow. that you were there and you were telling us so many things that we should do. We should do in our regular habit, and that will really help us to grow healthy day by day. With that, point, I thank you on behalf of all the attendees and the panelists, and hope to see you in the next weekly meeting, and next follow-up meeting. The Yashwant Bhaiya, you want to add something? Patil Bhaiya, your mic is my got unmuted. I guess by accident it got cut off. Sundar Bhaiya, thank you so much. Namaste, namaste, namaste to all. Namaste, Didi. Namaste, sir. Namaste to all. Namaste to everybody. Good night. Take care. Good night.